everybody. I'm here today with a haul for you guys. Um, well, I actually already filmed this. my second time filming this. I filmed it when I fi filmed my nail polish obsession tag. And I realized that I kind of forgot some things and the lighting was really terrible in it. And I got a couple more things in the mail today. And after I did this video, I'm filming my favorites, I think. So I figured I'd just refilm it. And I have some after light today. I'm actually getting a chance to film during the day, which is a big switch because I always have to film like really late at night because it's the only time I have. But hopefully this will be a bit better and I won't forget anything. So I'm going to get started. I got a few things from Sephora that came in the mail um, a few days ago. And last week me and my husband went on like a little mini trip, which was like a day and a half thing. We just went one province over, um, and I stopped in at Walmart because we need to pick up a couple things while we were there. And I made my way to the beauty section, and they have so many things there that we don't have here. It's kind of ridiculous because it's like two hours away, basically. But anyway, so I picked up a few things there that I didn't really need, but I kind of been hearing a lot about, and I just kind of really wanted to try. So I'll get started with that stuff first. Um, I got two brushes here from Eco Tools. This one is their um, powder brush, and this is their blush brush. And I've been using these um, a fair bit since I got them, actually, and I'm really enjoying them. They're nice and soft, and for like, I think one was like $6, one was like $7 or something, so they're really affordable. Um, I kind of wish I had picked up more now, but <laughs> anyways, I'm really enjoying those. Um, I got two more Revlon lip butters, which I really, I didn't need. I think this is like eight or nine in total I have now. Um, but these are two colors that I've never seen here. They have the whole display at Walmart there, and I don't even think my Walmart's carrying the lip butters yet, so I was kind of excited when I seen those. I got Berry Smoothie and Peach Parfait, which I'll just show you guys right quick here, although I'm sure you guys have already seen these before. This is Berry Smoothie. It's just a really nice berry color. Berry is probably my favorite lip color to wear. So, And I also got Peach Parfait, which looks like this. And I was expecting it to be, I don't know, a bit of a different color. It's a little, a little deeper than I was expecting, but I'm really enjoying it. I've pretty much been wearing this every day since I got it, so definitely happy I picked that one up. Um... Next is, I got this here, it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Eraser Circle Under Eye Treatment, and I got it in, um, Brightener? Yes, Brightener. And I've been hearing a lot of rape about this, and this here, actually, they do have this here, this is the one thing I bought that I could have gotten here, but I picked this up just because I've been really wanting to try it lately, and so I kind of caved. Um, I'm liking it so far. I kind of want to go back and get the light one. I think I might like it a little better, but enjoying that anyway. Um, next, I got the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer, which just looks like this here. And I got it in light, and I've only used this once, maybe twice since I got it, but I'm really liking it. It's definitely, definitely heavy duty for sure, so that'll be really good when I have lots of dark spots or my face is kind of going crazy. Um, oh, one thing I forgot. I have no finger that drawer. It's so squeaky. Um, I also got this here. It's the Hard Candy Hide and Cheek, Hide and Glow Cheek, um, tint. And it is in In Love 315. And it's just, both ends have, this is a pinky color and this is more of a bronzy color. And it says you can use them separately or together, and personally when they're separate, they really don't give much color payoff, but when you do combine them together, it definitely does leave you a nice little glow on your cheek, so I've been liking that. I was going back and forth between this and the um, their blush in a box, but I kind of gave into this one because I've been in a kind of like a cream blushy kind of mood lately. I've been using those, so went with that. Um... I also went to Bath and Body Works, but I didn't really get anything very exciting there, so I didn't really... I only included one thing, because I've been really loving it, and it's the Shea Cashmere and Silk Hand Cream. I just got the little mini size, just because I kind of grabbed it, like, it was right up by the cash, so... It smells like, um, 
shea butter and cocoa butter kind of commodities. I don't know if there's any cocoa in it or not. But um, absolutely loving this. It leaves your hands so silky smooth. It's crazy. So I'm definitely going to be getting a big version of this whenever I run out of this. I have another little one too. It's just the shea cashmere. It doesn't, it's not the silk one. But loving those. Um, I'll include this now. I got this too. I got a new purse while I was over there. I didn't really need one. But I kind of, it was on sale so I figured why not. <laughs> um, let's see if I can get it in here right. It just looks like this here. It's got a zipper on the back and then two little pockets here on the front. And it's just, it's a really nice big bag. I love big purses. I seem to always have so much stuff in my purse that I can't get away with little ones. So I got that also. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got some nail polishes too. These three I got while I was on my little vacation. Um, this one here is Bite the Bullet by Wet n Wild. And I had this on my hands, I used this the day after we got back, and it's a really pretty color. I just find it really, it peels off your fingernails really, really easily, so it definitely, for me, even with the top coat on, I put two coats of this on and a top coat, and um, they start to chip, like, probably within two days, and I went to peel off a little piece of it because it was bothering me, and, like, the whole nail peeled off, like, all the nail polish is in one piece. So... I don't know, maybe you should only use one coat and it might not do that. I don't know. But the color is really pretty if you just want it for like kind of a couple days. Um, next, I have the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. And this is in 425 Pink Satin. And it's what I have on my fingernails right now. It's starting to chip too, though, so <laughs> excuse that. But it's a really pretty color. It's kind of like a metallic y kind of color. And I don't really have any colors like it, so. I gravitated towards that and tried that out. Um, next, I got a L'Oreal polish in Tangerine Crush. And I don't think, I've never noticed L'Oreal polishes around here, but they very well could sell them at like shoppers or something like that. But it's just this really pretty um, tangerine corally color. So I'm really excited to try that. It's more of a spring color, but um, as I mentioned in my nail polish video, I don't really follow that whole thing. like. I kind of just wear whatever color, whatever I want, to be honest with you. So I'll probably be trying that out shortly. Um, and that is all I got on our little mini vacation. Um, next, I will go with what I got from Sephora. And sticking with the nail polish theme here, I got this one by Sephora by OPI, and it is Mermaid to Order. And it's just this gorgeous green, not green, like teal aqua kind of color. And I've never really, I was looking through my collection because I thought I had a color similar, similar to this when it came in actually, and I don't. I have two colors that if you mix them together, it would probably give you this color, but I'm really excited with this. Um, next, I got a little quad by Bare Minerals, and it is in The Truth, and it's just, I don't really know why I bothered with this. I mean, I like it. I've used it twice so far. Uh, it's what I have in my eyes right now, but... It's just really light, so you're not going to be able to see it, probably. Um, I just have so many colors similar to this. I'm such a sucker for, like, neutrals and browns. And I keep buying them, but I don't need them because I have so many. But anyways, this is what the quad looks like. And the colors go on really nice, and I really do like it. But as I said, it wasn't really a nest, like something I needed, per se, because I do have colors all very similar to this already in my collection. Um... But oh well, I enjoy it. It'll be really kind of compact to take like with you if you're traveling or something. You can make a few different neutral looks with it. So all in all, I'll end up using it so it's not too big of a deal. Um, next, I got just a little mini version of the All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay. And um, I bought this because I've been hearing a lot of people saying how good it is. And I only got the little mini size because... I just kind of wanted to try it first before I spent like 30 some dollars on like the full size bottle because I still have some of my Max Fix Plus left. I have probably like a half a bottle of that. And I have the e.l.f. setting spray which I'm really not a big fan of. I find it leaves my face feeling kind of sticky almost. So I'm excited I to try this. So I haven't tried it yet. Um, and lastly I got the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. And I also just got this in a little mini size because 
like I said, I just want to try it out. This was only 14, 14 or fifteen dollars, I think, which is a pretty good deal because for the amount that you need to use for, of this, it's gonna last me a fairly long time. Um, I got this mainly actually to use on my face as a nighttime moisturizer. I've seen it in a few different videos on YouTube, people doing that with it, and they also mentioned that they found it kind of helped if they had any breakouts to kind of ease them up a bit, and I kind of got it mainly for that reason to try it. Um, I'm also going to use it probably for like the ends of my hair and stuff, but I have like Moroccan oil and stuff like that that I use for that, so main purpose I bought this for was my face because I have been breaking out more than usual lately and I use proactive but I've been finding it's been kind of not working as good as it used to so I kind of wanted to try something else to change up but I bought this so I used it once last night and I did find my skin was really smooth and like nice and moisturized so when I woke up this morning so even if it doesn't help with the blemishes it'll be good for moisturizing anyway so that is all I got for that and then today Actually, a couple hours ago, I got the mail, and I got a package from Outlook, and I was kind of expecting one of these things I got. I completely forgot that I even got it, and I kind of wish I had it now, but that's okay. I'll get into that in a minute, but I was expecting it to be my Urban Decay Book of Shadows, which was on there. I ordered it probably a month ago. I think I have the worst luck with Outlook. Um, it seems to be everything takes at least four to six weeks for me to receive it when I get it. The odd time I might get something like within like three to four weeks, but generally it's a month plus before I get anything. So that kind of sucks because I really enjoy getting stuff from there because it's so cheap. But anyways, enough of that rant. These are the two things I got. First thing, this is from Cargo. It's a little mini make pouch. This is what the makeup comes in. There's makeup in here. Um, and it was a little mini set that they had, and I'd never tried any cargo products before. And I'd seen this on there, and I'd heard about it before, so I kind of was really anxious to try it out. And it came with five things in it, and I think I got this for like, I think it was like $16, if I remember correctly. But like I said, it was a long time ago that I placed this order. So the pouch itself is super cute. And it just looks like this here. It's like a little postcard. Um... I'll start off with the blush. It comes with this blush here. This stuff I've, like I said, I just got this a couple hours ago, so I have no idea. Oh, that's really pretty. That's the color the blush is. And it just goes on like that. Oh, that's super pretty. I have a feeling I'm going to really enjoy these products, so I'm very excited about this purchase. I got an eyeshadow duo, we'll call it. It's these two. Oh, sorry. The blush color is in Men. Docino? <laughs> look, look at that there. That's the, oh, there we go. That's the color. Anyways, and this is in Eyeshadow Duo. It doesn't say. Okay, so I'm not sure what these colors are called, <laughs> but they're just, yet again, bronzy neutrals. And those are the two colors there. And they come off like that. These are really, really pigmented. I'm really super impressed so far with this. Um, my napkin here to wipe my hands off. Um, next is a little mini lip gloss in the color Morocco. And it's just a really sparkly berry kind of color. Looks like that, which is my kind of color, so I'm sure I'll use that too. Um, next is a eyeliner I believe eye pencil and it also does not say the color hmm. interesting anyways it's like this bluey aqua kind of color oh that's really pretty too it's that there I am super impressed with this stuff I'm really excited to use this actually and lastly is a mascara which is their Better Than Waterproof Mascara, and it is in black. And what does the wand look like? Oh, hm, pretty standard wand. Looks like that. I don't generally like these kind of wands. I like the ones that have, like, the brushes better. Um, but I decided to give that a try. I don't know if I was good to have one. Lastly, this is from e.l.f., I believe. And it is their Be Natural, Natural Beauty Mineralized mineral makeup and light <laughs> and it looks like this I haven't opened this yet because I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep this or if I'm gonna give it away or send it back or what I'm gonna do with it because I don't use mineral makeup 
which I have no idea why I bought this to begin with. It was like, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it was like $6. So like it wasn't a huge purchase or anything. But I don't know. I'm still not sure what I think about this. Like I said, that's why I'm not opening it because I don't, I don't know if I'm going to keep it yet. But this is what it looks like. It comes with a booster, a foundation, and a blush. That's what that looks like anyway. Um, that is everything that I have to show you guys, I believe. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.